So uh, 15,000 people have died at uh, European borders uh, in the Mediterranean since 2015. Many more have experienced human rights violations, informal pushbacks, gender-based violence, overcrowded refugee camps. The EU migration and asylum policy is in a deadlock. However, thousands of Europeans, NGOs, municipalities who are engaged for refugees and migrants show the EU can do better. The Delegation for Migration and Asylum demands to build up on disengagement and end the current humanitarian tragedy. Firstly, the dying in the Mediterranean is untenable. Any return policy to conflict-torn countries like Libya is untenable. Overcrowded asylum camps on the Aegean Islands are unacceptable and undermining any European standards of migration. Instead, EU member states should redeploy a common European search and rescue mission they must ensure the principle of non refoulement and handle asylum cases on an individual basis. They should reactivate the EU relocation mechanism to prevent the spread of the coronavirus in refugee camps. Secondly, the criminalization of refugee organizations must be stopped. Thousands of Europeans engage in numerous NGOs to provide search and rescue operations and facilitate in integration. They they supplement EU member states in, in their task to protect migrants and refugees. Moreover, NGOs have collected a lot of knowledge on the ground. EU member states should create contact points and formal complaint procedures for NGOs to integrate this knowledge and facilitate the oversight of state action. Thirdly, support local and regional coalitions of the willing. Solidarity cities, your cities, cities of safe harbors. In Germany alone, there are 120 municipalities de who declared their solidarity with refugees. This local engagement is far too often stopped from national policies in the EU. Thus, municipalities and regions that take in refugees on a voluntary basis should be supported to do so. The EU Commission should reimburse not only costs of integration, but provide additional financial support for municipal development. Last Saturday was World Refugee Day. It remembers not only the 80 million people forcibly displaced worldwide, it remembers also that the EU has committed to ensure refugee rights in the Geneva Convention and the European Convention on Human Rights. Therefore, we urge the German Council Presidency and the upcoming TRIO Presidency to end the current deadlock with the new Pact on Migration and Asylum, act in European solidarity and realize its own human rights commitments. Thank you for your attention.